Greetings, welcome to another Decker Games YouTube thing. I'm gonna call this a uh, Stranger Thing because I don't have um, anywhere else to put it on how to um, activate uh, SAM or Smart Access Memory for those who own uh, a uh, Ryzen 3000 CPU, which is my case. My uh, newest video is on the um, Radeon RX 6800 XT, it is my new GPU, but I own a Ryzen 3000, so uh, from the beginning, SAM was not supported, but apparently, uh, if you uh, update, which I uh, absolutely recommend that you do, not only for this, but for everything, update to your uh, latest BIOS and uh, install the latest chipset drivers and stuff, by the way, my motherboard is a X, X570 motherboard from um, Gigabyte. Install the latest BIOS or update to the latest BIOS. Update the uh, chipset drivers and uh, I'm going to show you how to enable SAM or again smart access memory in the BIOS and uh, let us check if uh, well it makes uh, any kind of difference or not so. Let us restart my uh, computer and let's enter our BIOS there we are let's move the uh, camera a little bit in closer now some of these options may uh, vary according to your motherboard and um, BIOS don't forget to go to your manufacturer's motherboard check out your uh, motherboard model and download the correct BIOS then we can go to the settings tab and we can go to the uh, IO ports option and uh, in the latest uh, GZAM BIOS update we have uh, two, two new uh, options first one is uh, above 4G decoding and the uh, resize bar support by default these two will appear disabled and you can just enable. In my case, I have two options, only disable and auto. I'm gonna choose auto. In some BIOS, it can appear as enabled, disabled or enabled. The uh, solution is just to enable either by choosing auto or the uh, enable option. While enabling the resize bar support, the above 4G decoding will automatically pass to enable also. So these two options should be enabled after doing that we are going to save and exit our bios i'm not going to save because i've already done it and we are going to restart to windows so while you're back on windows the first thing that we are going to do is to go to system properties click on um, device manager Check under your um, Display Adapters tab, right click on your GPU and select Properties. Then you should go to Resources, the last tab, and you should see a new item in there named Large Memory Range. If that item is there, you should have a SAM or Smart Access Memory enabled and it should make some kind of difference in a few games, in others not so much. But, uh, well, it is, is, is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. And uh, we are going to check some uh, numbers because, well, it's free. You just have to enable a, a couple of options in your BIOS. And, uh, well, there it is. If you get uh, half a dozen frames per second more, it is worth it. If you get one frame more, it is worth it because, well, you just have to do this. So uh, uh, let us quick check some uh, numbers. This is not an in-depth overview or analysis on um, SAM performance. I've just uh, quick, quickly run some uh, numbers and we are going to take a look at it. So first off we have Borderlands 3, which is a an AMD game. At the bottom you can see the numbers with SAM enabled and at the top without SAM. And as you can see, average frames per second went up from uh, 111 let's call it that, to 126. So we see significant gain in performance in Borderlands 3. 
So uh, yeah, I would say that um, in this title, it uh, truly makes a uh, difference. Next up is Control, again at the bottom, the numbers with Sam, and you get uh, one frame per second more on average. I would say that um, smart access memory doesn't make any difference on Control, or, or maybe it does. And this is the different that it, the difference that it makes. I don't know. It is just one frames per one frame per second. It can be just a uh, casualty or not. Well, things are what they are. Forty eight frames per second to forty nine. Again, things are what they are. Next up, we have uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven and twenty and Cyberpunk makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. No, I didn't copy-paste these numbers. These are the numbers that I got with and without Sam. It is exactly the same. It makes uh, zero difference, nothing, nada, zip, squat. So, um, yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't take any advantage on the use of uh, smart access memory. Next up, we have uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. And by the way, these are all numbers running at 4K because I was not going through all different resolutions. I believe that you, uh, if you go with lower resolutions, you would probably see some uh, higher difference on performance, but um, you can check that. On Horizon Zero Dawn, again, one frame per second of difference. Yes, 1% lows and minimum went up. This can indicate that it is a little more stable or not, I don't know. But uh, again, one frame per second, I would say that Horizon also doesn't give a crap about Sam, but um, well, these are the numbers. Finally, we have a Shadow of the Tomb Raider, again 4K, and we went from 72 to 77 frames per second. And I would say that this is another example where uh, smart access memory makes some kind of a difference. So uh, yeah, it is about five frames per second more. Where in uh, Borderlands 3, we had something like 15 frames per second more. So uh, yeah, depending on the game, Sam uh, can or not make a difference. And uh, where it does, it is, quite significant because, uh, well, you just activate a, cap a couple of options in your BIOS and um, get 5 to 15 frames per second more in a few games. So uh, yeah, these are the numbers. Uh, please test them if you have the uh, hardware, if you have a Ryzen 3000 CPU and if not, update your BIOS, update your chipset drivers, update your GPU drivers and uh, let me know if you got the uh, same results or at least some kind of a performance gain in the comment section below. Ah man, look at those graphics. I guess this is um, it for another video. As I've mentioned, let me know in the comment section below if you uh, can test this and if it makes any kind of difference for you as it did for me in a um, couple of games. Again, I believe that uh, lowering the um, resolution will probably improve the uh, performance gain results. Again, if you do so, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you found this um, very quick video useful on how to activate SAM on your Ryzen 3000 CPUs. If you did, leave it a uh, thumbs up because I enjoy your thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I have uh, more substantial videos in this same channel. You can watch, for example, my video on the RX 6800 XT, among others. Remember that you can follow me on social media if you uh, want to. No pressure there. As always, thank you very much for uh, watching this thing, this quick thing that you just did. And until my uh, more substantial video, please do take care.